What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to our Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode number 48. Now, before we jump into it, let's say we're um, just uh, about two weeks away from Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and when it comes out, we're going to be doing an amazing Let's Play on this channel. I haven't even decided which version that we're doing, but we're going to be stepping things up quite a bit for this LP, and I hope that you'll join us for that. Anyway, this episode, I'm not even going to lie, it was a total snooze fest until the last, like two minutes of the episode and then it got absolutely crazy it's the most crazy that anything's gotten so far in like the last five episodes or so so stick with me all the way to the end uh, we're gonna kind of be doing stuff a little differently i'm gonna kind of give some predictions as we go i haven't done that so much so anyway as the last several episodes have gone this episode started off with lily um at her journal she's or no i'm sorry um it just started off with lily she was actually eating this time um, but pretty much this is definitely Lily's show and you'll see why at the end of this why I'm saying that so her butler comes up and is video recording Lily and Lily's like James what are you doing and like won't open her eyes at all and like puts her face in, puts her hand in the camera and tells him to turn it off um, so James so after the intro uh, the intro is called strike a fully powered pose for a sleepover um, so after the after the after the intro uh, it comes back and James says that he's just taking video so that Lusamine can see how Lily is acting with Pokemon because Lily hasn't been able to act with Pokemon. If you've seen anything of the series, you already know that. So we're just trying to I think she's just trying to figure out how she how Lily acts with them. So Lusamine actually winds up calling Lily. So Lily and Lusamine are chatting and Lusamine's phone rings, her work phone. Lusamine answers it while that while Lily and Lusamine are talking super rude but Lily's like hey you know what since you want to be like that hold on hold on since you want to be like that I'm out and just gone just like that uh, <laughs> but, but just cuts the call um, and Lily was like Lily was mad and Lily tells James I'm out and James is like all right sure and it, it cuts to Lusamine and you see Lusamine just kind of like ah uh, like breathe out a sigh like she's kind of sad and upset i kind of like lusamine so anyway uh cuts back to kukui's place where burnett is hanging out and is to do running some as they call it in the episode normal tests on cosmog so burnett was like is working with aether paradise but i feel like burnett is still going to be a good one but like because burnett's supposed to be kukui's wife hold that thought hold that thought right there um so the doorbell rings and Ash goes up and it's the entire gang, everybody else, Mallow, Lana, that guy I don't like, Kiawe, and Lily are all there and they're there for a sleepover. That's what the episode's about, right? They're going to be having a sleepover at Kukui's house and they ask Burnett, hey, do you want to stay for a sleepover as well? She says, yep, my, schedule's, uh, my schedule is open, I'll stay. So they're all pretty excited about that. Now, as Ash is kind of showing them around the place, because this is most of their first times being at Kukui's place, um, Ash shows where he sleeps, which they call the loft, uh, but it's just like the upstairs room. Um, and they decide to have a competition to see if the boys or the girls are going to get the upstairs or the downstairs. Um, so at this point, um, I think Ash suggests that they're going to play hide and seek with Nebby, uh, where Nebby will teleport around and they're going to try and find him. So. All the groups look in. Mallow winds up finding Cosmog first, but Cosmog teleports away. This is where things this is kind of a little interesting in the middle of the episode. Snowball draws Lily atten Lily's attention to her hat that's sitting on the table. Lily walks up to it, and Cosmog jumps out right into Lily's hands. Her expectation, Lily freaks out, screams, but the girls wind up winning this competition. They're going to be staying on the top floor. Um, now, the next thing that they decide to do is that Burnett decides, hey, let's do a Z-Move competition. Um, so this is actually pretty cool. What it is, is it's Rotom. He does like a little slots thing, and he pulls up three random Z-Moves, uh, and it's here. Do this move, then this move, then this move, and if you mess up, you're eliminated. So first, Lana and Sophocles get eliminated. They suck. I don't really like them. Lana's not so bad, but that other guy, I don't even want to say his name again. And then if you get three in a row, they have to say the name of the move. And actually, I just realized why they did that. Because they did it with like the grass EMZ or something like that. And Ash says grass, grass, grass. And the others say full bloom doom or whatever it's called. Um, 
and so Ash gets eliminated. And at first, I guess I didn't really understand, but now I get it because a couple like a couple turns later, uh, as it's like Mallow, Burnett, Kukui, Kiawe, and Lily are going, doing the thing, doing the thing, and then they get three fires in a row. So it comes up something full flame, whatever it is. Kiawe actually gets Turtonator to use the Z move on accident and blows up the whole house. So they wind up having to clean up. But this series is just amazing. The music that was playing at that point when they were like cleaning up and it went to commercial, it was like, this show is so good. Yes, it's a change from X and Y, but I've really grown accustomed to it and I really like this series. Um, so, oh, it's right here. Um, so Burnett decides, since I'm staying here, let me go ahead and make dinner. Um, and Lily seems interested in impressing Burnett. I don't know what it is. Oh, yes I do. I totally get it now. I literally just watched the episode, so all these thoughts are coming together. Um, but Lily is having memories about her time with Lusamine when she was younger. So she's putting that like onto Burnett. And they wind up cooking together. I'm Ash and Mallow are there because you know Mallow does her thing and Ash is like cooking, like Mal is actually cooking. Ash is separating lettuce or something. Um, but yeah, Lily is cutting up vegetables and uh, Burnett's right behind her to help her out with that. So kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Um, the rest of the guys are all cleaning up the home and then they decide to sit down and watch TV. Sophocles and his fat self decide, hey, can I sit down and watch TV? And he turns on to Professor Oak show. Uh, Rotom comes in and wants to watch his detective show as he always does. Lana cuts in to watch a fishing show, and then Kiawe sits down, grabs the remote, and changes it to baseball. And we know that earlier in the series we had a baseball episode, so they all wind up watching baseball, and they're talking about the guy that's at bat, and he's supposedly like the MVP of the season. Or yeah, the MVP of the season. So he hits the ball, and his Snorlax, who's on first base, uses pulverizing pancake Z-move and runs around the rest. Is that really why they made that move? So dinner's ready, and you know Burnett has a Munchlax. Well, Munchlax's eyes light up like he's about to use pulverizing pancake, dashes across, and eats all the food. So they wasted their time. Kukui and Burnett decide to go get food while the rest of the game's gang sits around. Um, during this time, Lycanroc and, and Linton kind of look at each other and just calmly walk outside, and they start training with each other, uh, with each other there. So the whole group goes outside, and uh, Kiawe's Pokemon, Turtonator, and Alolan Marowak wind up doing the same thing. They have a little training session, um, but I have a feeling that Litten's going to be evolving soon so that he can keep up with Lycanroc. Because we know that Lycanroc has had these recent battles where it's getting stronger and needs to get even stronger. I think that Litten will keep up with that since they like to train with each other often. On the way back from getting groceries, Burnett and Kukui have a little moment where like Burnett is like shows like the red lines like she's blushing or whatever and Kukui deflects it and I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, like go in. Anyway, um, so the gang gets to eat, but Lily seems distracted and isn't eating. Uh, just, just like she was earlier when they were going to cook. Lily just seems really detracted in this episode and you'll find out why in a minute. Um, but before bed, the group is all talking about the different food at each other's place and kind of their routine of what they eat. Um, but Lily is still really upset, holding a polka doll really close to herself. Now, as the group goes to sleep, it shows that Lily's having trouble sleeping. Um, and it turns out that she was having, wait, 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 wait. She goes and sits outside on the log that we've seen before and is having memories, like I said, about times with Lusamine. Um, times with Gladion, where they were all together, where they had her Pokemon, where they had the Cleffa that we've heard about before, um, that she had. So they're just sitting there. Burnett comes up and decide and try and starts to like comfort her and talks to her about it and lets her know that the last time, uh, the last time Burnett saw Lusamine working, Lusamine was actually looking at photos of their whole family on their table. Again. Lusamine does not seem like a bad person. Are they gonna put a big spin on this? Or will Salbo, or what's his name, Faba, will he wind up being the bad guy? Stay tuned till next week. That's not the end though. Um, but Burnett pretty much restores this faith in Lily and Lily seems really happy and wants to go meet with Lusamine. Now the next morning, the whole group decides that, well obviously the whole group is leaving Kukui's because the sleepover is over. 
who as they leave, Kaz or Lily, um, distracted yet again, says out loud that she would like to meet up with Gladion. Well, Cosmo comes over and teleports into a cave where Gladion is. And Lily yells to Gladion, I want to talk to you about something. I want to talk to you about Mother. And Null, type Null, Gladion's Null, jumps out in front of Lily. And Lily has this really bad flashback to apparently the last time that she had encountered this thing. And you see this absolute fear in her eyes. And Cosmog immediately teleports her back to the gang. But Lily um, collapses to her knees to where the group is like, what happened, what happened? And she says, I saw this, Poke this unknown Pokemon with Gladion. And then Snowball tries to walk up to Lily, but Lily can't touch Snowball anymore. Oh my goodness, it was such a crazy end of the episode. We've had all this character development to where Lily is, is getting better with Pokemon, but then this happens and then she can't even touch her own Snowball. That was the end of the episode. It said to be continued, of course. Now, next week. Oh, oh, okay. Next week, Gladion confronts Salvo. Hypno puts Gladion, like, puts a spell on Gladion. Ash and Lily travel somewhere. I think it was Aether. I'm not 100% sure. I could probably watch it back again and get a better idea. Um, but then we see Salvo, Salvo's, I, I'm guessing Salvo's, Alakazam use Psychic on Ash, Pikachu, and Alolan Vulpix. And then we see a screen where Null is reaching out to save Lily, who I think is like inside of this psychic of Alakazam. But then we see the, the helmet break from Null and Silvalium emerges. Next week, it gets real. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what your favorite part of this episode was and about my, what you think about the thoughts that I had and man, next week it gets turned up. So I hope you'll join us for that. And I also hope that you'll join us in about two weeks for our Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon um, Let's Play. We'll be having, I'm, I'm gonna aim to have a video this coming Friday. Yeah, I need to have a video this coming Friday announcing that playthrough. I hope you'll check that out as well. We'll see you next week for episode 49 of the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. But until then, have a blessed day.